Hello, my name is Bobby Do Nothing, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial, where today I'm going to be showing you how to make an XOR gate. Now, an XOR gate is an electronic circuit that allows you to have control of a machine from two different sources. Now firstly, I'm not going to be going into the mechanics of how this works, because this isn't a high school science lesson, but what I am going to be showing you is how you can build one of these and use it in the world of Minecraft. So first things first, here's one I made earlier. Um, now you'll see at the end here, I've got a piston with a block on it that can be operated by both of these switches. As you can see, I can turn it on and off with that switch. I can turn it on and off with that switch. But also, uh, as if you have a big room in your house and you have two light switches uh, in the room, if you turn it off on one, you can turn it on on the other uh, and vice versa. So the, both switches are completely independent from each other. Now, let me just show you from the top. The yellow squares that I've laid down uh, represent the size you'll need to build the circuit. So that's seven long and three wide. Now I'm just going to give you a top-down view of the circuit. So you can have a look at it uh, if you need to pause the video for any reason to have a look. Okay, and then I'm going to go and show you how to build it. So to build an XOR circuit, um, for the one that I've been building at least, what you are going to need is six blocks uh, of any block. I'm just using wood. You're going to need seven redstone torches, two levers, and a bunch of redstone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you line by line how to build it. Now let's start at the end where the machine that you want to operate will be. Uh, in this case we've got just a piston. So let's start with the blocks. So uh, from the first line you don't need any blocks on that. On the second line you need block, space, block. On the third line you don't need any blocks. On the fourth line you want space, block, space. On the fifth line you want all blocks and then the last two lines you don't want any blocks at all. So that's what that will look like from above in your 7x3 um, area. Okay, so next I'm going to show you the redstone torches. And what you're going to need to do, again, coming from the, uh, the end where your machine is built that you want to control, um, you're going to need to put redstone torches on all of the faces, just like that. Okay, and then the last two redstone torches need to go on the top of these two blocks here. So that one there, and that one there. Again, that's what that looks like from above at this point. Okay, and the last thing I need to show you how to lay down is the redstone. So again, we'll go line by line. On the first line, you want one piece in the middle. On the second line, you want a piece on top of each block. On the third line, you want a piece, a gap, and a piece. And then the last two pieces that are important to the circuit go on top of those remaining blocks there. So again, from above, this is how that will look. And that is essentially your circuit. That's all you'll need to lay down. Um, so why have we got two lines back here, you may ask. Well, let me tell you why. Essentially now that circuit is complete and we can make it work by putting levers on the sides of these blocks. Okay? But the whole point of this circuit is to allow you to have control um, of a machine from two separate places. So having two levers right next to each other um, is not the reason for building this circuit. So what these two points are for um, is so you can run redstone off to your levers. Now the reason that you leave two spaces is because if you run off to the sides like that, it's not actually, the input isn't going into this block and you need it to go into this block for it to work. So because of that, you need to run two blocks out at the back so that it's absolutely going into that block. But then, from that point onwards, you can put your levers wherever you like. Um, now what I should point out is that redstone power from its original point will only carry um, for I think it's 15 blocks. So if you are going to put your lever a million miles away, you are going to need repeaters to break that up. Let me just prove this point. As you can see it stops somewhere over here. So what you need to do, and always make sure that your repeater is is going in the direction that the current is going. So our current is starting at the lever, it's heading in this direction, so make sure you lay your repeater down there. Um, and then that should carry onto the onto the uh, circuit now, even though it's not. <laughs> okay, that's fine. This is the thing with redstone circuitry. It's sometimes trial and error. Ah, okay, so I was using a comparator, not a repeater. So that was that was the problem. That was why it wasn't working. There we go. There we go. So it does need another repeater, but there you go. As you can see, now it makes it there. Um, 
so yeah, I think it is 15 blocks um, that redstone will run before it runs out. So you just the only, the way to solve that problem is just use a repeater. But like I said, make sure it's going in the direction of the current. Um, yeah, and then you can put your other one wherever you like. Really doesn't matter, and you'll have control from both places. So that's how you make your XOR gate. Now, obviously, having a look at it when it's above ground, that's going to be quite hard to cover up, um, you know, for aesthetic purposes. Obviously, you don't want your circuitry exposed, um, stinking the place up. Um, so what I have done is I found a little way you can cover it up mostly, um, and that is by adding another dimension to the area that you need to build a circuit. So I said it was seven long and three wide. Well, if you add three deep, um, to that as well. Now it needs to be a minimum of three because obviously you've got your redstone torches on top of these blocks so when you do lay um, your surface material down you are going to need that gap so that you don't break your circuitry but taking it three down will allow you to cover up pretty much all of the circuitry just like this uh, and obviously the redstone going to the switches as well. As you can see that's quite tidy and um, I've just got these two little uh, little basis here for the levers. Now what I've built over here, this is an idea of how you can use an XOR gate, um, is a, uh, a staircase, but obviously I can't get up that last one because it's two blocks high and my precious treasure chest is up there. So obviously wherever you led these levers to, uh, in a hidden maze or whatever, um, you can find the lever, click that or that one, whichever one that you found, uh, and that raises the hidden step. So I can actually now get up there and get to my loots. And everything's awesome. So there you go, that's how you make your XOR gate. Um, there are many, many uses and ideas for it. Um, I am going to be making some more videos involving this, so if you enjoyed what you see uh, and it was helpful, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more Minecraft tutorials very soon. So thanks for watching.